the spiritual energies are strong, they're vibrant, but there's a sense of stillness when we're working with spirit. And we are working with spirit tonight. And we've also brought forward another lady all the way from Portsmouth. Is it Portsmouth? Southampton. Yes. <laughs> I'm a Londoner, it's down there somewhere, I apologise. <laughs> Not London, from Not London. <laughs> And she's coming forward, and again, somebody who travels all around the country, serving people on platform, giving messages for spirit, and, and with this incredible energy. We've spoken many times on the phone, just met for the first time this evening, and I absolutely love her. Her energy is so vibrant and so healing in its natural way, as all of our mediums are, really. There's a wonderful healing energy with this. And they're coming forward to work together and bring you messages from spirit. And I'd like to welcome them. Terry Strohmeyer. I want to somebody, a mother who passed with cancerous conditions. I want to go around this area here. Who can understand a mum passing with cancer? Is that, is that for you? Bless you. Can I, can I talk to you? I want to say, been tough, difficult times, hasn't there? And also I want to say with your mum, you were desperately wanting a message from her today, weren't you? She's got such a lovely, she's got, actually she's got quite a young looking face, your mum, hasn't she? Um, she's sort of taking off and passing off almost like your sister, older sister, all right? And she's just saying, I know it's tough, I know it's been difficult, but I'm still here, all right? Lots of lovely photographs as well in the family. You, there's a fo loads of photographs. It's like almost that somebody enjoys taking photographs and puts them all together because they're showing me this beautiful collage of photographs. Now, has there also been a house move as well? Somebody moving house or thinking about moving house? because it's, it, it's taken a lot longer than you've anticipated, hasn't it? It's been a total nightmare, she's telling me, hasn't it? So she's saying to me, things are starting to fall into place for you, all right, about time. And so therefore, they can, she can definitely, definitely see a move for you. So just take that, okay, as red. She must have liked the colour red. She liked bright colours, didn't she? She's just telling me. She loved flowers too. She's showing me sweet peas. She's showing me freesias as well, which she really liked. And she liked lovely light fragrances too. So I'm seeing um, lovely fresh smelling flat, um, perfumes too, and you like that too. She also loves uh, daffodils, she's showing me. So March is also significant. That's a very poignant time, she's just telling me. Christmas is hard for the family without her, because she was the homemaker, your mum, wasn't she? Always there, always making sure that everyone, everything was right, she's just telling me. She had, she, you've obviously got some cards of hers too because she's showing me her handwriting, which you still have. Now, isn't there also a lock of hair that's being kept as well? Not necessarily hers, but she's talking to me of a lock of hair that has been kept. Do you, you understand that? And also she's showing me her rings as well, because you've got her rings. So you're not wearing it though, are you? Yeah, because I just I, I knew you were not wearing her ring, but she just said, not that you have to, but she's just telling me very much of that. She had a lovely <laughs> smile. And she was the type of lady that she'd look you straight in the eye too. And she would know exactly what was going on. Who played the piano as well? Because cause I'm hearing, hearing somebody playing the... Sorry? You, oh, okay. But you, ha you haven't continued that. You gave it up. And uh, it's something you've been talking about recently. It's been a recent conversation about that. So she's just been listening in. She's been listening in to that. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that, don't you? And also, she's talking about a television as well. So there's been, I don't know, if you've recently been buying a television or something about a television, she's saying. There's been something wrong with the television or the settings of the television. Because some, you've messed the settings up, haven't you? And you've been cursing at it. I know, and you've been cursing at it, because if somebody keeps flicking the television happy, haven't they? And whilst they're flicking it, they don't know which button they're pressing, and they keep pressing it and then setting it without realising it. So your mum has been absolutely in raptures of laughter whilst this has been going on. And that's what she's saying. I've been so close, I know what's going on around you, all right? I know. So she's just saying, I know at times you've been to bed and you've just cried because you miss her, you miss the conversations, because she was somebody that would always tell you the truth, wouldn't she? She would tell you exactly how it is. And life's getting better, all right? Life's getting better. And stop looking at the past, all right? Because I know at times you just wish you could talk to her about emotions of the heart. And so she's just saying, things are getting better, all right? And you will have all your dreams and your aspirations. Just keep believing in them. Now, you also must believe in the angels, too. 
And also you like crystals, she's telling me too. Because I know you, you either like that type of music and, um, and also there's some drum music that you've either been listening to as well. So realise that the reason why you've been changing the music is because it's the rhythm that is changing within you. The vibrational rate of you is changing, it's expanding, it's fastening. So everything that's gone on in your life has happened for a reason. And when you look back and you see where you are, you've made marked improvement and big strides in your life. So your mum is saying, why don't you see that? Why can't you see that beauty and how you have moved forward? And therefore, believe that what is coming also in your life is also <coughs> full of beauty. Because at times, you look beautiful, but you do, sometimes you're just an actress. And your friends know that, don't you? Because at times, everybody else around you is laughing. And actually, you don't feel that in your own heart, if they only knew. And she's saying, darling, I just want you to be happy. And I'm promising you that is happening on every level. All right? I feel like I want to cry with you because of it. And she, your grandmother also used to be handbag brigade and lots of tissue. She's getting a tissue now and she's giving that to you also. She also had lots of primroses in her garden as well because she showed me all these marvellous primroses. And also there must have been a glorious wood that you would have gone through as well because she's also showing me these lovely bluebells. And when you're a little girl, you, it was the magic of it all. And you believe in the magic. To believe in the magic of life, all right. Now, do you also carry um, on you um, like a um, safe some money, just so, like a, your fiver or something? Which you because she's just she's laughing at you, she's saying okay, that's her safety. She always has this money that's there just in case of an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> always, and I know the music, you love music too. But she's saying, goodness me, she gets a piece of music and she plays it over and over and over again. And she's saying, and you've recently been doing that. And it's so loud. And she sings in the shower too. <laughs> there is no secrets. Well, actually, I'm not telling her that. Because she's just telling me you've been buying some clothes, undergarments, but I'm not telling you what. <laughs> coming up. So she's smiling at you there, she's smiling, because she's just telling you you've got a great figure, believe in it, all right, believe in it. And you must also like shoes too, because she's telling me, I've just seen your wardrobe, there's shoes in there which you don't even wear, do they, do you? And you buy a pair of shoes and they don't always fit you either, and you've got a pair of shoes in there, your mum's telling me, and she's just absolutely laughing, because there's all of these shoes that are in there, and there's some of them that would absolutely kill your feet and give you blisters. But you'd go through that pain just to look good, she's telling you. <laughs> she's there, she loves you very, very much. There's also a budgie that's flying in as well. So your grandmother must have had a budgie when you were younger, because I'm seeing this budgie flying around. So take her love, she is there, she is special, she loves you, and things are getting better. Bless you. Isn't she good? Oh, yeah. that's, that's the way it should be done. to be part of one of Oracle TV's first uh, events. This is new, um, quite revolutionary, and really, really dynamic. What I love about Mediumship Evenings is the energy, the vibrancy, and the ability for most people to get profound messages and insights and to be really touched by spirit.